everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to go over a teaching tutorial specifically reconstituting drugs. Now these drug problems are a little bit more advanced and on my other teaching tutorials I've went over oral dosages, IV boluses, infusion rates, any, everything like that. So be sure to check out those videos because they come with a free quiz. Now in this teaching tutorial I'm going to work five problems and then afterwards I highly encourage you to visit my website registerednursern.com a link should be popping up and take the free quiz that goes along with this teaching tutorial we're gonna go over these drug problems and these drug problems tend to be a little bit more advanced compared to the other problems we worked in the past they're really long as you can tell they like to confuse you they'll throw numbers out there and you have to really ask yourself what is this problem asking me for and what information is important in that problem so let's get started my first First problem is this. It says, typically this is what it's going to look like whenever you're getting it on an exam. The doctor order says vancomycin 2000 micrograms IV. The label on the vial of vanco says to reconstitute with sterile water for a concentration of 2 milligrams per milliliter. Then dilute each two milligrams in 75 milliliters of sterile normal saline. How many milliliters will you use to administer this ordered dose? A lot of stuff. So let's underline the most important things. Okay, first of all, ask yourself, what is this question asking us for? This question is asking us for milliliters per dose. So let's just write that right here so we know what we're looking for. Okay, and let's underline the important stuff. Okay, vancomycin, 2,000 milligrams IV. That's important. That's what the doctor's ordered. So we're going to underline that. And right here, it's telling us the concentration of 2 milligrams per milliliter. This is irrelevant. This We don't need to know this. What we need to know is after we dilute it with our saline, what is the concentration going to be after that, which is going to be 2 milligrams per 75 milliliters. So for every 75 milliliters, there's two milligrams of vancomycin in it. That's what we're worrying about right now because this number right here, the two milliliter, two milligrams per milliliter, that's just telling us what it's concentrated at. We want to know after we reconstitute it, make it unconcentrated, what is in this vial for us to give the patient. So those are the important things that we need to know. Now let's solve our problem. Okay, I always like to start out with what the doctor ordered. He, ordered, he or she ordered 2,000 micrograms, and 2,000 micrograms equals one dose, and we're trying to get milliliters to dose. Right now, we're in micrograms per dose. Okay, now, our information, two milligrams in 75 cc's. We've got to get this micrograms to milligrams. So remember in the previous videos, we talked about the metric table and converting. So we're going to convert. This is, how you know this is from memory. And um, so we know that there are a thousand micrograms in one milligram. That cancels out micrograms. Right now we're in milli milligrams per dose, I'm trying to get to milliliters per dose. And now we can use the information that's in our problem. And after it's reconstituted, we get two milligrams for every 75 cc's or milliliters. Cc's and milliliters are the same thing. And mark out milligrams. And we are milliliters per dose, so we are ready to solve. So multiply everything at the top, at the bottom, and then divide. And 2,000 times 1 times 75 is 150,000. And 1 times 1,000 times 2 is 2,000. And we're going to divide 150,000 divided by 2,000 is 75. So the answer to this problem is 75 milliliters per dose. So let's solve the next problem. Okay, problem two says the following. A vial of doxorubicin reads 0 0.5 grams per vial. Instructions say to reconstitute each 12 milligrams with 2.5 milliliters of normal saline. How many milliliters of normal saline will be needed to reconstitute the vial of the recommended 
concentration. So you got to ask yourself, what is this problem wanting? The problem is wanting milliliters per vial. How many milliliters are you going to have to draw up and inject into this vial to equal the recommended dose? So what we're looking for is milliliters per vial. Okay, let's underline the most important things that we'll be plugging into our problem to use dimensional analysis. Um, the first thing is the zero, I mean the 0 0.5 grams per vial. That's very important. The next thing is 12 milligrams for every 2.5 milliliters of normal saline that we're going to inject. It's going to make 12 milligrams. So that is very important. So how many milliliters are we going to need total to equal these 0 0.5 grams? So let's solve. Okay, let's start out with what the vial is originally. The vial is a 0 0.5 gram vial. So we're going to put 0 0.5 grams is one vial. Now we are trying to get from milliliters to vial. And we know from our information up here that the 12 milligrams is in milligrams. And what our vial is, is in grams. So we've got to convert that to milligrams. So you know this from the metric table. This is from memory. We know that there's one gram in every thousand milligrams. So grams cancels out. Right now we're in milligrams per vial. We got to get to milliliters per vial. Now we can use the information that is in our problem. So there are 12 milligrams and 2.5 milliliters from the problem. That cancels out milligrams and we're stuck with milliliters per vial. We're ready to solve because that's where we wanted to get. So we're going to multiply everything at the top, multiply everything down at the bottom, then divide. So 0 0.5 times 1,000 times 2.5 equals 1,250. And then 1 times 1 times 12 is 12. And 12, 1,250 divided by 12 equals... 104.2. Okay, so 104.2 milliliters per vial is what we would have to do in order to get that problem. So let's work our next problem. Problem says instructions on a vial of one gram of doxorubicin instructs to reconstitute with normal saline to make a concentration of one milligram per milliliter. After reconstituting two vials, you would administer blank mLs to administer a 500 milligram dose. So let's look at and ask yourself, what's this problem asking? Okay, this problem is asking how many milliliters are we going to give per dose? Now, what's the most important stuff in this problem? Okay, well, we need to first look and see what the doctor ordered. The doctor ordered 500 milligrams per dose. See, they just sort of threw that in at the end, so you would have to know. Next, you need to see what the concentration is. What are you supplied with so you can give this 500 milligram dose? And after you reconstitute it according to the problem, you're going to get a concentration of one milligram per ml. Now, you may be thrown off with the one gram up there. That is just telling you, hey, you got a vial of doxorubicin and it's one gram. That's in there to throw you off. What you're looking for is what the doctor ordered and what the concentration is going to be after you've reconstituted it. Because you have this one gram vial, but you've added um, normal saline to it and you've changed its makeup. It's how concentrated it is to equal one milligram of one ml. So that's in there to throw you off. So then the most, another important part of it is this the two vials. This problem is telling you, hey, you've already reconstituted two vials. So you know you're going to have to double something since you're using two vials. So that's another important part. So let's plug this information into our problem and see what our answer is. Okay, we're going to, of course, start out with what the doctor ordered. They ordered 500 milligrams is one dose. That's what the patient's getting. And we're trying to get to milliliters per dose. Now, says one milligram per ml is in one vial after you reconstitute it. But according to the problem, you gave two vials. So we're going to double it. So instead of putting one milligram equals one milliliter, we're going to say two milligrams equals two milliliters. Because remember, we gave two vials. So it would be two milligrams equals two milliliters. Now, milligrams cancels out and we needed to get to milliliters per dose, which we have, and so we're ready to solve. So 500 times two equals 1,000, and two times one is two. 
and we're going to divide a thousand divided by two is 500. So the answer is 500 milliliters per dose. Okay, let's do our last problem. The problem says instructions on a 2.5 gram vial of chlorothiazide reads to reconstitute it with 20 ml of sterile water. This will provide a concentration of how many milligrams per milliliter? So in the previous problems, we were already given that information, but here what it's saying is you have a vial, it's 2.5 grams, and you're gonna add 20 milliliters of saline to it. So after you do that, what's the new concentration gonna be? So that is what we are looking for. So this part, 2.5 milligrams, 2.5 grams is most important and 20 mLs of normal saline is the most important. So, and we're, but we're trying to get to milligrams per milliliter. So already looking at this problem, we know that we're gonna have to take some extra steps and convert. So first let's do what the vial is. There is 2.5 grams and we're gonna put 20 milliliters of saline in it, okay? Now we're going to convert our, milligram, our grams to milligrams. We know that there's one gram for every thousand milligrams, and that cancels out grams, and we're done. We have our mil, milligrams per milliliter. So 2.5 times 1,000 is 2,500, 2,500, and 20 times one is 20. And 2,500 divided by 20 equals 125 milligrams per milliliter. Okay, so that is how you solve those problems. Now, I highly encourage you to go to my website, registernursern.com, a link should be popping up, and take the free quiz that goes along with these type of problems so you'll be prepared for your nursing school classes and you can never practice too many drug problems. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.